This video will give you an introduction to vectors and distinguish them from scalars. Before moving on, make sure to review the topics of units and coordinate systems to better understand this video. After finishing, you should move on to the topics of vector graphing, components, and addition to understand the use of vectors. The word quantity is going to be frequently used in this video and subsequent videos. A quantity is something you can quantify, which means to measure and express in numbers. In physics and in everyday life, we encounter quantities such as mass, velocity, momentum, charge, temperature, or even mileage. The first type of quantity is a scalar. This type of quantity is simple because it can be expressed based only on its size or more properly, its magnitude. For example, when we describe an object as being 0.5 kilograms, we are referring to the quantity mass, and we described its size as 0.5 kilograms. Vectors need a bit more description. A vector is a quantity with both magnitude and direction. This is for quantities where the direction is relevant to the problem. For example, when we describe driving 45 miles per hour north, we are talking about the quantity of velocity describing its magnitude as 45 miles per hour and the direction being north. The distinction is important. Mass, for example, does not have a direction. Therefore, describing mass as being 0.5 kilograms downward is nonsensical. For vectors, you must specify their magnitude and direction. When you want to describe velocity, then 70 miles per hour south is sensible. However, when you are expressing speed only, which is a scalar quantity, then describing it as 70 miles per hour south is nonsensical. For speed, the direction does not matter. For velocity, it does. In solving problems involving vectors, 
you will be required to draw a vector diagram. This will usually involve you representing the vector quantity as an arrow in a relevant coordinate system. Please refer to the videos on setting up coordinate systems and converting between them to fully understand problems involving addition or subtraction of vectors.